Welcome back. All right. Hello, everybody. We did it, kids. <laughs> we made it back. Um, <laughs> that was a little crazy. We uh, I'm dealing slightly with some derailed. Yeah, slightly derailed, just a little bit. Um, distracted by power going out and then coming back in. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here. Right now, we're working on the map editor. Uh, and the map editor kind of looks like uh, this. Let me bring it over to you. Right here. So this is like a map and we have the ability in our map editor. Hold on to, um, go back over here. All right, to select a room and say, let's fill it with a, a certain set of uh, uh, tiles like that. And then I can come inside of here and I can say, let's go to my furniture tab and grab like a table. Uh, and actually, let's put some chairs down first because uh, I don't have Z order uh, yet in this. And uh, drop a chair over here, and a chair over here, and a chair over here. Then let's go select them. And uh, let's rotate like this. And we're just kind of building the selection mechanism in here. And uh, that's kind of there like that. Go back over to stamps, grab a table now, put the table out right there. And now we should be able to scoot those chairs like underneath the table like that. And so that's kind of what we're building right now. So you see we've got our size handles not quite right. Right here, if we zoom in here, the size handles need to be fixed. We're gonna do that right now. That's what I'm working on next at this point right here. So let's go find uh, our ellipse. There it is right there. Uh, it's The problem is here in this code. We need to adjust that by half of the size diameter. So set a break point there. Uh, I'm gonna shift click on this. And we're gonna say set left minus uh, size diameter divided by two. Like that. Like this. What's up with my stroke thickness? Am I setting my stroke thickness anywhere? It looks like I'm not. I want it to be thinner than what it is. What'd you say? I said, right. I believe so, no. Yeah, so let's uh, make the stroke thickness. Let's make it one. I would think it would maybe default to one, but maybe it's not. Uh, let's uh, step through it and see what it's, the value is if we hover over it. What is it? It's one. I, I feel it's like it's too big. I'm going to make it 0.5. Let's see what happens. It still seems too thick to me. That is pretty big, isn't it? That looks like way more, because if this is 10 across, that's not one. Have we got an ellipsis that is trying to be filled? Hold on, I want to see if I'm setting this anywhere else. Ah, this could oh, be the problem go. right there. It's this one, hold on a second. I see what my problem is. I'm grabbing the, I, I made the wrong one. This is for the ellipse. So set the breakpoint again, we'll fix it. All right, here we go. Shift click here. Uh, this is gonna go back to one. Actually, we don't need to set it here. We can just get rid of that now. And down uh, where we called this from, we can set this to one, there. Then we can come in and let's add the other corners here. So now I wanna say my top, my right, uh, which is gonna be, I think I wanna just say a, um, let's uh, declare a new int, uh, right. And right is going to be equal to left plus um, stamp.width. Like that. And uh, let's say bottom is equal to stamp plus height right there. And I'm using code rush, by the way. Auto complete that. Yeah, auto really uh, nice. Code rush kind of suggested that for me right there. And now uh, I want to come in here, and now that I've got all these variables, I want to say, I'm going to say now the right and the top, and now that size direction is going to be uh, to the northeast. Interesting perf issue. I want to hit cancel and just restart it. I bet it's just going to get it instantly now if I do it. Yes or no? Hold on. There we go. Uh, northeast, like that. And duplicate this line. And now we're going to say back to the left. And then we're going to say uh, this one's going to be bottom, like that. So in the left on the bottom. And that's going to be southeast, like that. 
and then uh, and then one more down here where we're gonna say uh, right bottom, and it's gonna be southwest. Oh no, no it's south. This southwest one. is the right. Oh, sorry, it's the there left. There you go. There we go. You like that? Yep. Left is west. Top is north. I think we've got it. So those are our resized corners. So let's continue to run, and now see what happens. Better. Four points in all the corners. Very nice. Much better. Now it's wider, but that's because this particular image has got uh, empty transparency around it. Uh, what's this one look like? So that's a little closer there. So there you can see the shadow down underneath. So um, yeah, that bugs me. I'll need to re-edit the images, but at least that part's good. So now we've got these resizing. Uh-oh, why don't I see the mouse changing? That's interesting. It did suggest that there should be um, cursor changes. Presumably, obviously, our events, which aren't actually doing anything just yet. Yeah, we uh, saw it working before. Let's, uh, I wonder if it's a Z order issue. There's something else showing up on top of it. Okay, yeah. No? Let's, let's, uh, take a look at our mouse move event handlers and see if we're getting a, a, a hit here. There is a traditionally no. important person in the chat room, maybe trying to gain your uh, attention there, Mark. Oh yeah, I need to take her soon. Yeah, you would, uh, yeah, uh, you're teaching today, I know that. And uh, you need a carboy. Yeah, I know that, honey, but I don't, we don't have to leave for another 14 minutes. I know, you're not driving, baby. It's Everything's gonna work out. I got 14 minutes to fix this bug. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, traditionally, Hugo, not potentially. <laughs> Uh, I don't get it. So, Hugo's trying to get me in trouble. Um, you're right. There, there's cursor. Well, well, so what was the actual code we used? Because I don't, I don't recall seeing it. What, you say we did? I saw it. I swear I saw it. Uh, yeah, but we're not getting, um... This is in the creation of... This is in the drag item, though, isn't it? In, in the stamp that we made. This did is in the resize corner. Place? It's in the resize corner. It's right here. So we say okay. ellipse cursor is equal to cursors, right? So, yeah. yeah, we create the ellipse, we add the loops to the children. We set the tag to the resize tracker. It should totally work. Uh, uh, do we need to say, is his test visible? I suppose, but I swear I saw it working, Rory. I was like there, we were watching this before with number one. Um, I think his, his, his hit test visible is going to be true. It's true. Yeah, this makes no sense to me. I'm not getting it. Uh, is it on the top? Oh, it's not on the top. I think it is a Z order issue though. I think it's a Z order issue. Maybe, is that gonna be possible or not? Is there something above it that's getting the hit? What's in it? Can I select the tiles still? I still select the tiles, and I can select this piece. Yeah. Let's make sure these go to the very top. Selection canvas. Uh, let's do this. Um, can you hit a breakpoint in any of the uh, attached events? What's I was saying? I set one. No, I set one to mouse move. No, I can set one for mouse down, I suppose. But uh, nothing's happening when I click it. Um, so uh, I wanted to just in case. Is there like a um, move selection canvas to top? That's what I think we wrote earlier today. Let's see what we got. What's in that code? Selection canvas. But is that what I want? Yeah, it is what I want. Selection canvas. Okay, and am I adding the, the UI to the, is the resize corner added to the selection canvas as well? It is. Okay, I'm stunned as to why it's not working. Uh, I just now moved it to the top. Yeah, no, no difference there. Not really expecting that to have any difference. Um, what else can I try? I wanna try restarting. Yeah. 
And I want to see, because I swear it was working. The guy with occasionally edit and continue gets confused. Because I, edit and continue is complicated to actually implement. Well, I don't think it's necessarily that. I think it could be a bug somewhere else. But I, if it's a state bug, restarting will help us maybe find it. Like, um, oh, yeah, you know what? I think it might be. I think it's when we change the room. So, so we change the tile in the room. I think that's the bug. So hold uh, on. Did we change the tile over the... Yeah, I think the shot to the tile is, it's invisible, but on top. There, look at that. See, we got the mouse move. That's what it is. That's why the restart helped. Okay, so now see, see the resize cursor right yeah. there? Okay, and there's my mouse down. So we just got to add the resizing there. I'm going to hit run, <clears throat> not implementing those yet. But uh, the other thing is that these should be independent of zoom level, right? No matter how far out, these should be 10 pixels across. So I need to figure out my zoom scale and adjust these accordingly. And when I yep. zoom, I need to update them as well. Mm -hmm. So that's a little tricky. We'll have to figure that out as well. But now I've got these angling the right way and I've got them right around the different sizes. And uh, if we go to the stamps out here and we pop out a couple more, uh, and let's make it a little more interesting. Let's get some furniture. Let's put a bureau like right up over here. Um, Looks like I've lost the drag uh, ability too. It looks like I got a bug in the dragging, um, but there we go. So there's our, putting that there and shift click, shift click. There we go. So I've got a multiple selection there. Not bad. When we do the move, that doesn't look good. Uh, we need to fix the move. So it's actually showing us where we're dragging it, um, that sort of thing. But, uh, and kind of control click there to get rid of it and just drag these two, cool. So we're not bad. We're closer, closer, closer. Uh, I gotta go give. Oh, better than it was, yeah. yeah, I gotta give six positive a ride, Rory. So we're gonna okay. uh, go see uh, who is streaming out there. Kids, give us a follow if you haven't followed already. Uh, go out there and follow us at Twitch TV slash Dragon Humpers as well if you like Dungeons and Dragons. Um, who's out here? Uh, who's out here on the uh, Live Coders team who's streaming right now? Uh, Insta Fluff and Code Phobia. Let's send you over to Code Phobia. See what they're doing. Say hi. Insta Fluff's always out there, also out there as well. If you if you enjoy Insta Fluff, and uh, and we'll see you later. Uh, Rory, thanks so much for your help, buddy. No problem, Mark. All Absolutely, right? my pleasure as always. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.